welcome back to the programmer guide youtube channel today i am going to discuss about the one of the scenario based interview question which is asked by the delight esi private limited okay so in delight right they have asked the question like read the csv data using the java 8 stream api i mean this is this csv data is the transaction okay so read the transaction csv data using the java 8 stream api and group the transaction data by using the transaction id and convert the transaction as a json okay here right first of all i would like to show how the json i mean csv data is there so based on that right you can uh, assume i mean you can uh, do the code okay so see in this uh, csv data right transaction date is there transaction place is there product name is there price payment method and transaction id so here a requirement is group the data based i mean first of all read the csv data and also group the data by using uh, based on the transaction id okay so this is the one of and also convert the uh, this data as a json object this is the scenario based question which is given the eight years experience person okay so now now i'm going to explain about the how we can uh, read the csv data using the stream api and also uh, how we can group the data and how we can convert the data as a json object okay first right so to re uh, read the csv file first read the csv file so to read the csv file right we need we are having the path object okay path path equals to path of uri wherever the file is there in my data it is there in the uh, d drive d drive slash test test.csv so this is my uh, data okay so this is the string object so now we are having the path by using the path right either file is exist or not we need to check first if files dot files dot exist i think yeah files dot exist path if file is exist then go to here otherwise uh written the smooth ex, uh, termination of the program like file uh, file not i mean file not exist okay like sys out file is not exists okay see, now we will see let me run this program first see now file exists suppose if i give the rename this file right so then what will be output we'll see the file is not exist so now uh, our program is uh, working as expected now what we need to do we need to create a object i mean um, sql we need to create the object which is equivalent to this transaction data okay now i have created already this transaction that uh, object a transaction object has been created like uh, transaction date transaction place product name price payment method and transaction id and also by using uh, selecting this right uh, after right clicking see here a source is there right source generate constructor is there so one constructor i have created and setters and getters i created and two string also created by using the same see this is the constructor which i have created and these are the setters and getters which i have created okay and this is the two string method see our object is ready now what we will do we need to um, assign the reading csv data i mean the reading the file data as a uh, individual object right so for that there is a way files dot the um, there is a way uh, files dot lines see lines of path 
see by using these lines right it will read the all the csv data see read all the lines from the file bytes from the files are decoded into the character using the utf8 character set okay this is what it will do i mean uh, before right we are using the buffer reader right that will do same and here it will do automatically files dot lines of path dot skip see since it is since it is having the one header right see transaction data so we need to skip this uh, line first okay so now i am skipping the first header dot map the map why we are using map map is going to be used to apply the data right apply the um, function data right so by whatever the operation we are going to do that function is going to be applied so each line we are going to do now lines csv data okay okay we can give like a line okay line of lambda expression so here we need to write the multiple statements into the uh, right so that i have given the curly braces here what we need to do we need to do the each or uh, i mean we need to assign the each object so for that string array i am taking string array okay csv data equals to string array csv data equals to line the each line is coming right line dot split what rejects we need to pass we need to pass the comma see what it will do each line is going to have the certain uh, uh, objects right you here if you see right uh, zero index first index second index third index fourth index fifth index the six objects is there right each object is going to be split line by line here okay so this data we need to set into the object now what we need to return 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 new transaction the transaction object we have created right so here we need to pass the constructor objects each and every object see based on this transaction right here i have taken date also string and price also string only transaction id is taken as a int okay so for um, i mean easy way writing the code see csv data of zero index okay csv data array of first index csv data array of second index csv data array of third index csv data of fourth index csv data of fifth index but fifth index since this object is a string right we need to convert this uh, string into the integer so that that means see the fifth object is the uh, integer right so we need to parse this string into the integer integer dot the dot parse int of string so this is the string data which is going to be convert into the equivalent integer value okay see this is how we need to convert why uh, create the local variable okay we can give the file data okay the file data i will replace here yeah actually um I, I just formatted the data and uh, and uh, added the uh, braces correctly okay dot for dot for each for each this sys out okay this um, dot out colon print okay add the surrounded try catch exception oh, yeah see um we have handled the exception also now we will see how the data is reading okay so let me execute this program see all the data as a uh, transaction data has been read see see the csv data is reading if you see the csv file right you can get to know i think um see this is the csv data so each object transaction date place product name price method of payment 
and the transaction id each object is assigned okay correctly yeah now our task is one task is completed read the csv file data okay read the csv file data is completed now what we need to do so um, we need to assign this data into the uh, one list of object that is a transaction object because right we need to group this data right so list list transaction list equals to here we need to change the uh, end method like collect of collectors dot to list uh, let me import the all the data control shift o the, the complete uh, uh, object is created the list of data is created if you if you want right we can print out here okay, now list of data has been created um yeah we can print right so this list we can print so that then also you can get to know how this data has been created see let me execute this program yeah see each data as a list is created see so now what we need to do we need to group the data based on the the second option is read the csv data is completed now group the data transaction data based on the transaction id so this is the second part okay now um, to group the data right we need to use the collectors dot grouping by so the end result is going to be map okay so the map map of integer integer because right id is the integer and uh, all the data we are going to consider as the list okay list transaction 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 map equals to list dot stream dot stream dot collectors dot collect of collectors dot Yeah, uh, collectors dot grouping by this function we are going to use so here what we need to grouping by we need to group by the data based on the transaction id so by using the transaction object right and constructor reference we can do it get transaction id comma collectors dot to list collectors dot to list see this is our code okay uh, let me format it let me import all the statements yeah i have imported everything so now what it is displaying we we can print it here see okay uh, sys out i comment i will comment this one and i will do the this sort of transaction map okay. let me execute this yeah see we have group based on the id see yeah uh one two three four five seven is the only one is having and one two three four five six is having the two transactions we can see here and one two three four five is the three transactions that are three transactions is having here okay now what we need to do we need to convert the this data into the json object convert the transaction data into the json object so to to do that right we need to first convert the um, create the entry set and uh, get this list of transaction data okay then only it is possible so for so to do that right map dot entry here keys are, what is the keys are there here is the integer value is the list the so same thing we are going to pass here entry colon transaction map dot dot get 
sorry uh, entry set or key set entry set yeah entry set we can take because each is going to be having one entry right so entry set now what we need to do we need to get the um, uh, i mean list transaction data as a value okay list transaction data trx list equals to entry dot get value so here all the data is with us so now what we need to do we uh, i mean we need to convert the this data into json object right so for that i have taken the um, from google json object the google json automatically converts the list of data into the json so what we need to do we need to search like this google json so after that this maven repository we can get it right so in that uh, i have taken the 2.10 version so i have downloaded this one and uh, added the our local path and also what we need to do we need to do the build path so configure the build path and added this into the json into the our class path since the data required actually i have uh, created uh, that one um, right to save the time i'm co copying that uh, uh, json data into here okay you, you can pause the video and you can type it here see this is the json uh, json conversation code control shift o it has been imported but you need to download and add it into the build path okay so here we need to what we are doing creating the new json and set doing the json builder dot set prettifying dot create what it will do it will create the json object okay and after that we are uh, converting that json into the i mean we are passing the tra transaction uh, list of data okay and entry dot key is going to be the key set and uh, here the json string so if you write this code right whatever the data is there it is going to be automatically converts okay let me execute this program see we are grouping the data let me comment this one yeah this one i will comment and i will execute again yeah see we we are segregating the data based on the key see one key is having one set of data and another key is having another set of data another key is having the another set of data so this is the program which is asked by the delight company and they have been um, i mean if you write the correct program in this way right they are might be selected eight years experience person okay so i hope you have been enjoyed watching this video if you like the content of the video please like and share video with your friends and subscribe my channel for the future videos thank you very much for watching this video take care bye bye